Like I said, when I first started with nothing, man. Nothing. Now you got the dream over here. Oh yeah. This is what I, this the first one I done. I still have this trailer. Oh, okay. This the first one I done. I put, I had, all I had was a grill, a hot plate, and one deep fryer. I used to go around selling barbecue and stuff like that. Uh -huh. and, and then, you know, years later, I had a vision God gave me, and I built this trailer. It's the same one, but I did it different. Uh -huh. Just, you know. Okay. Yeah, man. And so, years, years later, you guys built this one. People think you, your hard work don't pay off, man. It always does. Hard work. You put it in, you got to start from somewhere. My grandmother always told me before she passed away, she said, son, find something you don't mind doing when you wake up every day. You don't call it work. And I love to barbecue and make people happy. You know, it brings people together. It always brought my friends and family together. So I always barbecue. They keep my family together. I take them fishing with me on the boat and everything. Yeah, that's them right here. I used to just cook food and give it away. And my mother was like, no boy, you can make money. People come around here always asking me about food. So I just start, just took off from there, put my trailer together, which was that one, and just started beating down the streets, going different places, you know what I'm saying? Taking crit criticism, cause man, you gotta have thick skin when it comes to cooking food, cause you're gonna get called names, which I was called some of everything, but now them same people that was Calling me all kind of names, they standing in line and <laughs> getting barbecued. Every time, they love it. People love it. The smell oh, makes the sense. That. My main thing everybody loves of mine is my barbecue ribs. Man, people be about to fight about them. Like I tell people, I always have a little slogan, the smell makes the sale, but you don't need teeth to eat my meat. My, actually, a funny story, people, I wonder how I come up with that. You don't need teeth to eat my meat. My grandmother, was 90 years old, no teeth in the mouth, still able to eat my ribs. I used to tell her, baby, you know, these, this ain't bubble gum. You know, the more you chew the, chew the ribs, the more they blow up, swell up like bubble gum. No, these ain't that kind of ribs, so. But that, that's the main thing, you know, just keeping it right there. I'm not disappointed. I recommend this place to anybody, man. Hey, you come up with an idea, I, you know, that's why I said God gave me a vision. I gave it to one fat frog, man, the rest is history. But this is way beyond, you know. I, I still wanted my, my three deep fryers for frying my food. I wanted my the food warmers, the refrigerator, all this stuff just, you know, up the cold so I could just, do, you know, expand and do more. You know, primarily, that's all I wanted. I'm not done. I don't want to ever be satisfied. I'm not, I wasn't satisfied when I had my one trailer. I wasn't satisfied with this one. I'm not going to be satisfied with this one, so I always want to ask God, what, what, what vision do you really have for me again after this? Starting from the dirt, God's plan. You know, I ain't know what God had planned for me, you know, coming up. He get the glory over all of this, man. God get all the glory. Thank God he's first in my life, you know what I mean? So, I'm happy.